What is up YouTube and welcome to this The Privilege Breakdown and Ending Explained. This is an interesting movie which came out of nowhere and while I haven't enjoyed the Netflix output for quite a bit, I thought it was a really interesting movie that had me super gripped on where it will go next. The movie wasn't on any media access list and I could only find one trailer in Hindi so I thought I'd go and give it a try as well this is surprising because the lead actor character Finn was played by the same actor who played young Noah on the expertly crafted show Dark. Now the story follows Finn as he tries to recover from his past and discover the mysterious secret of his family in a sort of undead demon get out. We open with a young Finn being babysat by his sister only for things to kick off spookily very early as his sister Anna seems possessed and rushes him out of the house as she falls for a dam after she tried to convince Finn to jump and he would kick her off the dam to her death. It's a strong opening as he wakes up and is in a psychotherapy place at a fancy hospital and he goes to school. He has a crush on Samira, the popular girl who is the therapist's daughter and his best friends with Lena as the pair head to a party. Throughout the movie, Finn does have visions of people covered in blood or holding a knife, which hint that something is up in this world. The occult is a theme that progresses throughout the movie as he asks The occult is a theme that progresses throughout the movie as he asks his dying grandfather if he saw any supernatural stuff, which he would say yes. As Finn heads home, he sees a ritual at home. A naked old woman is sat in front of her, the other sister, Sophie. In a get-out moment, it is said that Sophie's body is there for the old woman. His parents assure him that this did not happen as he wakes up, and he keeps taking these pills, and his sister has weird goings-on, as it's assumed it could all just be on his head. However, later, she starts to have the same thing as Anna, such as bleeding from the mouth. Weird things happen also when her ex, Ramin, is attacked and killed by a spectral monster slash woman. Finn soon realises that these pills that he's been given could be the cause as he starts to not trust anyone around him. It turns out that inside the pills were a weird fungus mushroom thing which is actually a necrofungus that grows on the dead and is rare in their part of the world. It's bizarre as something stranger is going on afoot in this world. He and Lena head to an expert to get some kind of advice on these drugs and these people just so happen to be able to conduct a seance. It's explained that they will convene with the spirits and beings that have no body and can only be heard through white noise, and they are attacked. This is why later the people do want the bodies of the young people as they are just spectral forms, as the seance is shut down by the family and the two people, Scarper, being scared witless. Now, all three end up having a threesome because, hey, why not? It's the end of the world. Now, Samira starts having visions at the after the threesome, and the seance pair have run away scared of what was going on. Now, at school, Leander starts going crazy like Anna and ends up jumping off the roof and has a fungus in his mouth. He then urges them to look into the folder, which Finn does, learning that they are all adopted in this weird, creepy community. Now, Lena heads to a pharmaceutical seminar, praising the drug, and Finn's father is there, or well, at least his adopted father, and it hints that this creepy mushroom drug will be spreading further than their immediate area. It gets even weirder, if that is possible, as his grandfather dies and wakes up and he and Samira are tied up in a home. I think it is his home from, from the movie as well. Just like before he is presented in front of his grandfather and his soul is to be put into Finn. These beings have his sister as well and they say that they have been called many names like fallen angels hinting they are demons or just things from hell or what we perceive as demons that have been living on earth by taking over the bodies of humans. They set up this community and society so that they can take over the young bodies when they get too old. Luckily, he is able to escape in an almost repeat of when he was younger with Anna, and they head out with Samira as they meet Lena. Now, it seems like they are safe for now. They plan to go where no one will know them, and a billboard hints that <laughs> there's little place to hide because this drug is soon to be everywhere as these demons may take over the world. 
However, in a not-so-shocking twist, Samira has been revealed to have been taken over by the spirits back at the house. Presumably happened while, you know, Finn was having his whole thing and exposition dump. Overall, I really liked this movie. I thought it was a really, really good twist and turn story. The performances were really good, and I do hope, hopefully, we get a sequel. But that is it for this video. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.